March 23rd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, John chapter 14 from the New Testament. Do not let your hearts be distressed. You believe in God, believe also in me. There are many dwelling places in my Father's house. Otherwise, I would have told you, because I am going away to make ready a place for you. And if I go and make ready a place for you, I will come again and take you to be with me, so that where I am, you may be too. And you know the way where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus replied, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you have known me, you will know my Father too. And from now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and we will be content. Jesus replied, Have I been with you for so long and you have not known me, Philip? The person who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own initiative, but the Father residing in me performs his miraculous deeds. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not believe me, believe because of the miraculous deeds themselves. I tell you the solemn truth. The person who believes in me will perform the miraculous deeds that I am doing and will perform greater deeds than these because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. Then I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth whom the world cannot accept because it does not see him or know him, but you know him because he resides with you and will be in you. I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will not see me any longer, but you will see me because I live. You will live too. You will know at that time that I am in my Father and you are in me and I am in you. The person who has my commandments and obeys them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and will reveal myself to him. Lord, Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, What has happened that you are going to reveal yourselves to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, If anyone loves me, he will obey my word, and my Father will love him and we will come to him and take up residence with him. The person who does not love me does not obey my words, and the word you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. I have spoken these things while staying with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and will cause you to remember everything I said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give it to you as the world does. Do not let your hearts be distressed or lacking in courage. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you loved me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I am. I have told you now before it happens, so that when it happens you may believe. I will not speak with you much longer, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me. But I am doing just what the Father commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Get up, let us go from here. God, I have a lot of people who ask me, what does it mean to be a Christian? What does it feel like to be a Christian? And one of the things I tell almost everyone, besides about you and your son, is there's this amazing peace in my life. Just like Jesus said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give it to you as the world does. And this peace that I have inside of me, it's very hard to describe, but it's always there. It doesn't mean that my life doesn't spiral out of control. It definitely does that. 
And it doesn't mean that I don't have the same problems or issues that many other people do in this world. But I am never alone. You are always with me. I'm at peace because I know you're in control. I know you reign sovereign. And even though Jesus talks about the ruler of this world coming and, and it's so difficult to live in this world with all of the devil's playground around us, that I know that you reign supreme over him, that you control everything in this world. And just like Jesus said, he has no power over me. So I thank you today for this amazing peace in my heart. And I just pray that if there's anybody listening who hasn't yet accepted their position as your child, that they do so today, that they just reach out their hand to you and be enfolded within your arms so that they can know what that peace feels like and to follow the one true God of this world. I love you very much. In your son's name I pray. Amen.